Hello. In this video, we are going to play around with some of the things that with the text box. So we're going to add some text, modify the text, change some of the, the formatting of the text. Um, so just to kind of go back to where we were, we ended the last video that made this, is we essentially created this text block that we can't type in. And line 7 here is what stops us from being able to type in there because we essentially set the state to disabled. Um, by default, the state of a text box is, is enabled or otherwise known as normal. So if I run this with that line commented out, sure enough, I can type in there. Now, the thing that to remember is that when we disable a text box, we're disabling anyone from accessing it. So the way that we insert text into a text box is we use this method called insert. So text one is the implied object, insert is the function we're using, and we have to first give it a location. And just to insert at the, the end of the, or the most, after the most recent thing is we can use this constant called insert, which is located in the TK inter module. Um, and I'm just going to say line one. Now, you might think when I run this that you're going to see line one in the box, but, but we don't. Um, and the reason that we don't is because what's happened here is we've disabled, we've disabled that. So what I have to do is I have to actually disable it after I've put it in. Disabling the box disables anyone from accessing that. Now, something else, just a kind of a technique to make sure we understand is we might want to re-enable it. So if we say text1.config and we say state equals normal, that enables it. Because when you're working with a working with a text box to show your, your output in a game or a program, whatever it is, um, you're going to have to enable it put your text in there and then disable it again to stop the user from accessing it. But we don't need line seven because by default when we create a text box, um, it's automatically normal state. Okay, so let's add another insert. So you can see if I use this insert function, um, I can insert line two. And though I get two lines here, which you might be um, saying to yourself is, well, how do I get them on two separate lines? And to do that, we use an escape code, which is backslash n. So the way the text box works is there's a, a cursor that, that it keeps track of, and it just continually inserts to where that cursor was located based on this. So if I run this now, now I have two lines. I have line one, and then an escape code, and then line two. And the cursor is actually sitting right here at the end of line two. So just to get a visualization, like a way to imagine what this looks like. Let me just draw a little picture for you here. So the first line says line one, and the second line says line two. And let's actually pull up that window so we can see that at the same time. Okay, so the way the computer actually interprets this is this is considered line, line one, and this is considered line two, and then the lines are indexed, zero, one, two, three, the space counts as four and five. So what we have is when we want to access a position within the text box, we can use a float where to the left of the decimal indicates the line and to the right of the decimal indicates the location to start that insertion. So if I come back to the program here, let's imagine I wanted to put a star in between the L and the I of the first line. So what I can do here is I can say text1.insert, and instead of reading TK insert, I can say one point, let's pull this up. So I want to put it right here. So I'm going to say line one, so it's one point, and I want to put it in index one, which is right there. And that's going to shift everything from the I over to the, to the right by one spot. So I'm going to say 1.1, and I'm going to put in a star. And I run this, and there's that star there. So this is a nice way of being to access parts of your text, change things up, however you might want to play around with this. In our next video, we're going to look at how to actually do some highlighting, some fonts, change, things like that. I hope this helped. Have a good day.